Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 8 of our playthrough of Diablo 2 Median XL. In the last episode, we took care of the tools of the trade, and now it's time to go hunt down and Dariel herself as part of Sisters to the Slaughter questline just given to us by Decker Kane himself. We're going to try and do this. Give it a shot. We're currently in the cathedral right now. We sold a bunch of our gear. We're trying to get this death shell gothic plate on our booty for that dank defensive power to try and replace our current uh, Akara's chest piece, which Akara's chest piece is amazing. But because I'm weird, I'm going to wear gothic plate on a strength build necromant. I mean, let's just not let's not worry about it right now. <laughs> Nice, a ring dropped on the ground. Yeah, I'm still gonna try and grab magical rings, even if they aren't particularly great. I just like the idea of picking them up because they're like tiny little trinkets that could potentially be worth a little bit of money or have a really nice perk on them, like, you know, uh, bonus attribute points to all skills, or maybe they'll we'll get lucky and get like plus one to all necromancer skills, something crazy like that. Doesn't really seem like we're getting too much crazy stuff here. Probably like a difficulty change would be great too. Like, I don't know, it just feels like we're steamrolling a bit too hard. I don't know, do you guys think we should we should up the difficulty? We should change it to like players four or something like that. I don't even understand really how that works. So you type like what? Slash players four? Let's try it out. Slash players, let's do two. I have no idea. <laughs> or do we do players two? Players one? It's not saying anything, so I couldn't really, I can't really tell you. I don't know how it works. I'll have to look it up. But if anyone knows, please feel free to type it in the comments. Again, we're, this is a fairly blind playthrough, especially in terms of media and XL. I am very much unaware of all the different perks of it. I've only just delved into the, uh, the cool world. Ow. The cool world of Diablo 2 modding. Uh, why can't I not go through that door? Oh, there we go. Now we can go through the door. For some reason, I wasn't able to click on it. Maybe I just wasn't hovering over the right thing. Oh my god, look at all these runes! This is actually really great for us. As long as I keep saving up the runes, feeling pretty positive about it. Also, we didn't we keep forgetting to throw our money into the in the chest. So now we just have 25 grand potential uh, to just lose. But what's a little risk without any reward, right? Although there's no reward for holding all the money in your inventory, it's just being lazy. To be fair, though, it kind of comes with the trade of being a necromancer. Or should I say summonmancer in this case, because there is some pretty involved builds. This is probably the least involved build right now. <laughs> Ooh, we got the inner cloister up ahead. I'm hoping there's nothing I'm missing here if I go straight in. Inner cloister. Not sure what to expect here. Oh, that's a good sign. New waypoint. Next to a dead rogue, even better sign. What can I say? Another dead rogue? Another body to summon to, from the ground. Sorry to say, but my corpses are better than your living. Isn't this where we actually fight in Dario? Isn't she like right in here? Oh god. Ah, the power of, of doing literally nothing and just chilling. <laughs> what is this? Blight fire? Wait, what? Uh oh. Oh shit, no. No. Okay, I did ask for this. What the hell was that? He killed all my skeletons. You killed my children, and now I kill you. 
What was that? that did, he, took, he did so much damage to me. I don't use potions enough in this game. Wait, did I throw him on the ground? I threw him on the ground, didn't I? I did throw him on the ground. How do I throw them straight into my... I guess you don't? Not like Diablo 2? Okay. Alright, if you say so. What is this thing? Whoa! 381 defense. Lots of defense, but eh. Can't hold back, I need these potions. Also, yeah, I dropped a thing. Gargoyle head, any good? Nope. Throw it in the trash. Okay, what the hell was going on over here? I, I just probably took big poison damage from a trap or something on the ground. That must have been it. Honest to God, the only thing I can think of. Is that it there? Light fire? Yeah. I don't know what to think about it, so I'm just gonna, you know, go for a safety, safety thing right here. So one thing I thought, the bosses are probably gonna be real tough, but the actual enemies are just gonna be pure trash. Is that the guy right there? That was the guy right there. Okay, he died in two hits. I think he was just throwing poison at me or something. That was some... Like, thick poison. I can see why a lot of the items in the game, like, reduce how long it lasts for. But, at least potions counter it, so that's a big boon. I've been saying that a lot. Big boon. What can I say, man? All I can think of is Ed Boon. Maybe these things are just, uh... I don't know. Maybe th those, like, glowing things are traps or something? I don't know... What exactly those are supposed to be? Also, we can go back to the catacomb, or catacombs, a different area. This is all different. This is all different from what I have seen. Yeah, this is weird. Well, okay, yep, that's what that is. Okay, it all makes sense now. Those are traps. I was wondering why I was just taking crazy damage. It wasn't even from the boss, it was just from traps. I sense. What does he sense? He just said, I sense, and that's it. I wasn't even talking over him this time. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, yeah, okay. I gotta be careful then, because that's how we lose all our soldiers. Traps, the number one murderer of your own allies. At least Anne Orlando didn't die from that. I'm happy about this. Field plate. At least it looks cool. I gotta sneeze super bad. Okay, there we go. I'm holding it back. We're good. We're living the dream. We're alive. Man, imagine playing this game and actually having to click on enemies. Ugh. <laughs> what am I, a filthy melee warrior? <laughs> oh shit, look at this thing. Plague buckle instead of plague fringe. Um, Not better than what we currently have. I mean, the defense, obviously, twice as much. Pretty dope. But no magic find. I think that's a no deal for me. Alright, yeah, for now, I don't know. I mean, sure, defense is cool and all. But, uh, I like the magic find. Just anything to give us a little bit of a boon in that front. Boon being the word of the day, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, an amulet? No golden amulets, though. I'm getting let down on that front. Oh, I keep thinking that's an enemy, but it's one of my boys. Ooh, cool. Golden broad axe. I just like looking at this stuff. A ring and a skull. These skulls are so good that they're like freaking purple. Now here's hoping we can like remove gems from stuff, but if we can't, we can't, you know, it's not the end of the world, but 
I, I recall being able to. But again, Diablo 3 does spoil me and being able to do that, like, non-stop, no problem. Easy peasy. Leveled up again, thankfully. Throw that into strength, because we're a dirty strength necromancer. Hell yeah, there we go. Sure, we don't get plus six to all attributes, we get plus three. But we get the tank defense. Look at us, dude, we look awesome. Just on like visuals alone, we look awesome. So you know what, that's, that's how we win. That's how we win the video game, that's how that works. All right, looks like there's really nothing else, but we're gonna head north before we head down to the uh, the next floor. They're basically doing no damage to me now, which is pretty great to feel. Hey, let me, let me click on the thing, sir. Uh, anything cool here? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, a Spatha. This is Final Fantasy XI right up in here, man. Spath is such a sick early game weapon. One of my faves. Full Angel of Death ability, though, is kind of poopy. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, like, throw yourself into combat and just get one shot, then sure. Um, I don't know about that. Hey, look at that. We got another waypoint. Sweet Catacombs level 2. Getting there, man. I gotta remember, I can take them on. Like, I don't do zero damage. I have AoEs and shit. Like, look at that. Look at that shit. Isn't that amazing? I think that's amazing. I don't know about you guys. No, do rejuvenation potions, are they worth it? Regenerate life and mana over eight seconds? Okay, I'm assuming that's like... 100%, just like the other potions. Just, it, it heals both. So, eh. It's not worth it yet, but I'm 100% sure it's worth it later. Ring and amulet. Alright, I'll take it. See what I mean? I am left-clicking on the casket, it's just not working. Might be a bug or something, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Yeah, what the hell? I hate when- I hate when a game can feel unresponsive. I don't know if that's a vanilla bug. I'm gonna go with it's a modded bug. That or the game really doesn't want you to run up to something and then open it immediately like that. But then again, you can do it with chests, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I really don't know about that one. Don't know about that one, Chief. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I just ran right into a bunch of dudes and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how to get up here. There we go, all right. Um, well, we didn't go the opposite direction and I must, you know, curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the necromancer, all that. But uh, I want to continue searching the, the, the area. That and I just want to make sure I'm powerful enough for Act 2. I have no idea what is required of me in this mod to be leveled or not leveled, you know? Okay, that was really it. Also, something fell that sounded valuable. Uh, it was a ring, okay. Probably didn't miss out on much, yeah. Plus three vitality magic ring. Not particularly something that matters. But what does matter is going to level three. It's good to know that the Stone Clan exists in this game as well. <laughs> So many enemies, it's hard to tell which one's alive and which one's not alive. The 
know what my favorite thing is? Is uh, persistent corpses. Persistent corpses in games is great. I love just seeing like the carnage after a huge fight. Especially in games like Total War, Dawn of War, even this game. Really just changes how you feel about a game, I think. At least for me, anyway. I don't know. Other people probably don't give a crap, but I love seeing the remains of a huge battle that ensued. I think that shit is just super cool. Ooh, look at that. Stinger crossbow, eh? Fire the Stingle, Stinger missile at Metal Gear. The ultimate. Already at level four. All right, let's just go down. Ooh! We already got Endariel's health bar. At least we know she's down here somewhere. Ow. Try and deal with the ads real quick. Hopefully, they don't kill off all my skeletons that are dancing in the fire, literally. How much you guys want to bet we just kill her real quick? That, or this is really a weird mod where the bosses are stupidly hard, but the <laughs> the the random NPC monsters are complete trash. We're just hanging back for a sec. A couple of our skeletons are in there, but it should be fine. Because there's a bunch of elite mods there, so it seems that the elite mobs seem to have like a glowing radius around them. There she is. Oh no. She has big titties. <laughs> uh, hope that doesn't uh, hurt the video monetization. <laughs> To the hell that spawned you, Andario. Oh, well, that's convenient. They give you a free uh, teleport. <laughs> that's great. So if you forgot to teleport or bring a teleportation scroll, you can just leave. That's got. That's really nice. These are legendary items here. Uh, oh, well, the heavy crossbow anyway. Almost like this game wants me to go crossbow build. Catalyst of disenchantment. We can read it. Uh, I'm not gonna read it just yet, though. We got blade, gothic plate. Legendary gothic plate. Not as good as our current one, but it does have magic flying, which is pretty cool. Oh, but it has 501 defense. Okay. Look at this beast of a crossbow. Whoa. Okay, I guess we do need strength. Look at this. All right, maybe we got to respec and go crossbow build. Switch it up a bit. Have some fun in Act 2. What do you guys think? Thirteen to twenty damage, three to eight fire damage, and gold fine, life per hit. Hmm. Ooh, twenty-four to thirty-two on that one, but yeah, twenty-three to forty-five damage. Huge damage, even a bo a bonus to uh, attack speed, plus three to summon fallen. Okay, so we do still get abilities that are specifically uh, like class focus. Summon fallen. Hmm. Let me take a look here. Summon Fallen. Is that still a thing in this game? Or is that not specific to my character? Summon Fallen. Because that's Blood Skeleton, Nighthawk, Abyss Knight, Iron Goblin. Ooh, Resurgence. We can get that one now. The passive. Your minions become more powerful and resistant. Uh, minimum requirement, level 24. There you go. Plus 1% to minion damage. Oh, I wish I knew about that five seconds earlier. Uh, looks like we can't go beyond four skeletons. I think the reason for that, though, is because they want you to not lag online games. One thing I hear about summon mancers, or summon necromancers, uh, in, in the previous, like, vanilla version, is that they can potentially lag the game pretty hard when you have tons of skeletons being calculated by the servers at all given times. 
Makes sense, though. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, do I upgrade the golem? Nah, we upgrade the skeletons. There's more skeletons, so they gotta do more damage. Yeah, that seems right to me. Alright, feels good. Pretty much maxed on items here. We're just gonna quickly scavenge and search the zone. And kick a box. Didn't really mean to do that, but I did. <laughs> oh shit, there's more enemies here. Oh, all my skeletons are dead because of the miasma. Nope. Help us! You know, it's gotta summon all the dead bodies. I really don't understand this ability though. The cooldown of 10 seconds as well. Maybe they bombed something? Okay, you know what? We gotta test this. Well. Oh. I thought those skeletons were mine. Look at this awesome throne. Can I take the throne for myself? I feel like it was designed for me and no one else. I mean, it's basically an undead necromancer throne, man. It's so cool. All right, let's go back. Oh, let's read this. Oh, you can create arcane shards by consuming tiered number of uniques you no longer need. Catalyst plus tiered uniques, max 10, arcane shards. I have no idea what that is. Uh, hey, everyone in the comments, please translate. Thank you. Thank you, Smiles. Good evening. No, don't talk to me. I must look at my gear. Good evening. No, don't talk to me. <laughs> Alright, we do have a, a, a nice replacement. The Fallen Tooth. Amazing weapon. We'll use it. Looks like it, it's not really designed for my character, but let's be honest, even though it has plus three uh, to summon Fallen? Question mark? Um... It's still really, really powerful. Like, in comparison to our 4 to 22 garbage, infinitely more powerful than what we have. Uh, as for everything else... Catalyst of Disenchantments. We'll leave that there, because I really have no idea what to do with it. I will just throw all of our nice skulls and runes in here. Decent amount of skull gathering, though, and some diamonds. Are we missing anything else? Is that everything? Okay, let's just quickly go over the rings. We didn't get any cool rings. But always worth just double checking. Nothing is super cool. Gale rap. Sorceress only. What's this, this sorceress only like nonsense crazy plate mail uber gear? I don't know. Then again, I'm wearing freaking gothic plate already. So, I mean, I guess it has something good to it. Uh, sure. All right, let's go talk to uh, Akara. I have some potions to sell her. And I guess they're all just really happy that we killed Indariel. Finally, we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend. All your thanks are belong to me. That is correct. And please enjoy. Oh, I, I'll keep the Akara robe for a memory's sake. All right, there we go. That's everything trimmed up. Oh God, they're chasing me like zombies. Maybe they've all been turned. This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. Not sure, man, but it scares me. Long ago, Diablo and his brothers were cast out of hell by the lesser evils. It seems that hell's balance has shifted as Andariel is now aligned with the Lord of Terror. Her presence here in the mortal realm does not bode well for us. I like how there was inner turmoil where like, dude, you're not allowed in hell anymore, dummy. Kicks him out. Good day. Finally, we may rejoice. Okay, let's try to see if there's any extra dialogue. To be honest, I have done my best to stay clear of Geed. He wears dishonesty about himself like a cloak. 
and seeks only to better his situation by preying on the misfortunes of others. Sounds like Geed to me. 100% accurate description, actually. And Dariel's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero, and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. Listen, yo, I'm only your friend because I did your job. <laughs> Perhaps Tristram deserved its fate. Okay. Looks like we've expired all the gossips. Good to see you. You'll probably go east now. It was good to know you. I hope you'll come back if you ever need anything. I might. Uh, I mean, if you'll ever give me my freaking imbued stuff. I don't know why some of my sisters chose to follow Andario. Those who strayed were among our finest warriors. It's called corruption, my lady. Let's deal, my friend. That old coot cane is as crazy as a wet quill rat. <laughs> I'm gonna party like it's 9.99. God damn it, Blizzard! Really, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god! A Y2K joke? What the fuck? I like it though. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golane. All right, my friends, in the next episode, we will go east and continue this marvelous story of Diablo 2. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. This is probably where I'm going to take a break uh, and read all your comments. So it'll probably be a week or two since I pick up the game again. Maybe depends on how I'm feeling, if I want to play it sooner or later. Uh, but I really hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you have, let me know what you think of it. And uh, also leave your builds down below for my Necromancer. Uh, I think we're going to try out, we're going to respec, I think, for Act 2, and we're going to mess around with some more range stuff. I think we're also going to keep the whole Summon Mancer thing going. I just want to change how my melee weapons go. That's that's how I feel about it, but if I see any comments that have some cool ideas for a fun Necromancer-style build, then, uh, yeah, please let me know about it. Other than that, I'm Akabane101, signing off. See you next time. <laughs>